the uh, urologist again. He's like, all right, Mr. Born, put your weight on your elbows. It won't take a second. I'm like, whoa, jeez, bro. Jeez, jeez. Hey, Chris here, you're an intentional investor and welcome to my channel. If you've been following me for a while, you know my biggest focus on what I want to teach you is around surges of income. And that's how to make money above and beyond your normal monthly income or your paycheck from your business or your job. How you can really kind of accelerate your net worth by feeding your investments. And when I talk about investments, what we're doing is we're trying to create more resources in our life, more time, more money and more wisdom so we can use those resources to pay us dividends and earn more resources without having to punch a clock or have a, have a job for the rest of your life. So that's what surges incomes are all about. And today what I wanna to talk about is something called burnout. And this is something that I struggle with quite a bit. I have a lot of stuff on my plate. We have a portfolio of businesses. I have a lot of responsibilities. I have a lot of employees, a lot of people looking for me for the answers. Every time my phone goes off, we have these digital distractions. I have these notifications like from 17 slacks, it feels like I've got notifications every single day, every minute coming from those, even at night when I'm with my family. And I've got WhatsApp and Messenger and text messages and phone calls and voicemails and email boxes. And it's, it just burns me out. You know, I don't want to let somebody down by not answering it. So I'm letting this digital distraction. I'm logically justifying making sure everyone gets the best version of me by answering all their messages, yet I'm not giving the best version of me to the people in my household because I'm letting this digital distraction get in my way. So I've been learning from one of my mentors, Chris, and we had a conversation on Monday during our mentor call, which he was so happy that I actually was 10 minutes late because I was on the boat. I got lost on my way to work and ended up on the river fishing for five hours. And it's kind of crazy, but I was thinking about how effective am I when I'm on these Zoom calls or when I'm on these meetings and I'm sitting in front of my laptop and I've got my laptop, I've got my bigger screen above me. And I don't know how to calculate this exactly, but I've, I've figured out that I think I give about 30% of my attention to whoever's on the Zoom. Maybe, maybe 30% because I also have my, my Slack and my messengers and I've got little projects I'm working on because I don't have enough time in my day for my innovation and production work. Uh, and I'm also having three, five, four, six side conversations and I'm dealing with my kids or somebody else peeking in the room to see what daddy's doing. Like I'm giving whoever I'm on the call with 30% of my attention. And I think that's what leads to burnout for me more than anything else is that I feel like I'm not showing up. I feel like I'm not giving people in my life the best version of me. I'm not able to give them my full attention because I have too much going on. And that's where the burnout comes. And it's interesting, even if you don't have a lot going on in your life, if you're staying busy, you're gonna find yourself eventually filling up your plate, no matter what. Whether it's productive work or whether you're just doing things in the sake of doing them, burnout comes from when you feel like you have way too much on your plate for a prolonged period of time where you kind of get fed up, you're stressed out, you have migraines, and you're like, wow, I just can't continue doing what I'm doing here. So what I've been doing recently and what I'm trying to do is one, I'm trying to do a lot less at one moment. I actually went fishing and I was actually on Zoom calls, but I gave someone more like 90 to 100% of my focus. Even though I was driving my boat around and fishing a little bit and catching bass as I was listening to these calls, but I was actually not distracted by all these other conversations. And I'm realizing that I have to have measures in my own life where I have to literally put boat time or fishing time in my life, whether it's during the workday or not, to get me away from my computer, to get me away from staring at my cell phone. And that's how I'm trying to start to battle burnout in my life. So if you're a digital nomad, you live anywhere in the world, you work from home, um, you probably understand what I'm talking about. When you have a lot of things going on, maybe you've got two side hustles and your job, and you've got a couple kids, and you have a family, and you have bills, like we have so much going on that it's really easy to feel burnout. And think about over several years, even just several months of doing this again and again and again, it's gonna cause anyone burnout. So just learn from what I'm doing. I'm, I'm learning from my mentor, Chris, on this, and he and I are gonna have a meeting next week about it. And we're gonna try to engineer my day and my schedule around being the most effective person I can can be as well as protecting my personal time perfecting my protecting my family time getting away from the digital distractions and trying to limit my time behind a desk in a computer only three hours a day and that's how can we do that and still be as effective how can we do that and give people the, the time and the attention they deserve how can we be more present at home how can we be more present for our spouse how can we be more present for the people that we're meeting with and our teams without having to be in a computer, in front of a computer all the time, without having to just 
let these distractions rule our life. So that's what I'm working on. I know that probably a lot of you who are watching this are feeling very similar. Even if you don't have all the things that I have, even if you don't have 12 companies and all this stuff going on, your reality is your reality. And I met burnout's probably something that you definitely experience. And I think a lot of this comes from the pandemic. Before the pandemic, when I was driving to an office every day, I had a time in the morning where I would call my mom or when my dad was still alive, I'd call my dad and we'd have this moment where we can connect and talk about what's going on in life. And I love that connection. I love that disconnect from my house to my office. On the way home, I could think or I could blast the radio or roll the windows down or listen to a book or whatever, and I could defrag. And then I could leave my backpack with my laptop in it by the front door right when I walk in and I was able to separate it. But now if after the pandemic, we're all working from home or a lot of people working remotely, we have a hard time separating home and work. And I think we're finding ourselves probably working one to two to three hours more per day than we were before because we don't have that commute. We can get up early and sit down at the desk and be so much more productive during our deep work time starting at 7 a.m. or 7.30 and then not finishing till six because we still have plenty to do. We don't have those, those confines that we used to have and those constraints that say, all right, listen, we're done at five, we gotta go home. We gotta get Johnny to, our, to his soccer practice, right? We have an extra 45 minutes because we don't have to drive home now. We're working and filling that time. Self-driving cars are gonna come eventually and we're gonna work on our way to work, even if you do go to an office, you know? So I think, I, I don't know, I don't have all the answers. I know that I feel burnout. I feel like I get tired really easily, uh, but at the same time, I'm trying to look at it and stop saying, this is what's happening to me, but how can I learn from it? So recently, I, even like this week, I've decided to uh, go back towards eating a plant-based diet because I know that my energy levels will be a much stronger and that I can be healthier and be able to um, give myself a better chance to not get burned out. Because I think a lot of times our energy levels start getting low because what we eat, we eat crappy because we don't have time, you know? So it's just this endless cycle. I'm just trying to be more intentional about what I do, about how long I'm sitting at a computer, trying to be more intentional about not letting these digital distractions rule my life trying to be more focused and intentional about what I eat. Uh, I'm trying not to let myself get into this cycle of getting burnt out. Because when you get burnt out, sometimes you crash. And when you crash, you, you step back, sometimes three, four, five steps back. It can hurt your wallet, it can hurt your life, it can hurt your relationship with your family and your coworkers and your, your parents, and it can just hurt everything in your life. I just got two more distractions, sorry. If you're watching this, I just encourage you to be more intentional. Um, hopefully you'll do better at it than I am doing, but I'm trying and I would encourage you to do the same. Please consider watching my surges of income video where I explain it in detail. You can click this button here and get to the video. Also, if you have some questions, you have some comments, please let me know. I want to hear from you. Do you want to be mentored live by me on my podcast? Let me know in the comments below. Watch that video on surges of income and I will see you in the next video.